Hey friends! Alright, so today I wanted to just pop on real quick. I got in some brand new loose powder foundation. I've seen awesome things about it. So um, I made sure first, just tested some on my neck to make sure that this was the right color for me. It is, but I want to give you uh, my true like first impressions of it. So I've already put my primer on, I've got my eye makeup done, um, all that good stuff. Um, basically I just need to put some foundation on and like, you know, some bronzer or something when I'm done. So first thing I notice, um, super cool. It's got this little like stopper on it. So when you're putting it, um, you know, taking the lid on or off, you don't worry about a bunch of the loose powder forming in here because if you have ever used loose powder anything, um, you know, powders, eyeshadows, whatever, it can get messy, right? Because so much of it gets built up like in here. So that's super cool that there's like a stopper on it. Um, the other thing I notice is like it's got a nice mesh top, which basically means you can take this brush and just tap it in like that and get your product on there without getting too much, again, without making a big mess. So let's give it a try here. So I think what I'll do is I'll do half my face so you guys can see it. Um, this is supposed to give some really good coverage. So I'm excited because I've got um, spots on my face and stuff that I would like to have covered. Um, other tips for this that I've seen is that you wanna use more of a stippling motion um, to really get it in there good and pressed into your skin so this brush is really really cool um, I like it because it's got this other end on it which is awesome and let me do my forehead here and then we're just gonna do a little side-by-side -side comparison you know one half of my face to the other the other cool thing um, again with the smaller end then is that I can go in you know around my eyes um, I just did a color on my eyelid today not all over so that allows me to put it real nice and close in there. Um, but yeah, that is really nice coverage. I really, really like that. And it feels super, super light on my skin. It doesn't feel heavy at all. Um, it's a really soft feel. So I am definitely a big fan of this. So that's just like a little, um, you know, one side done, one side not done to kind of give you an idea. Um, but very nice coverage, especially for a powder and it doesn't look or feel cakey at all. So let me go ahead and get the other side done here. Um, the other thing that obviously I'm noticing, and you probably are too, is just how fast this goes on. Um, you don't have to think a lot about it, which is awesome. So as always, I am just using the camera here right on my phone because I think that works best. <laughs> All right, so let me just get make sure I've got it blended. Always make sure you blend down onto your neck. And again, when you are color matching, color match to your neck. Um, I don't know about you, but for me, my um, face is almost always lighter than my neck. Because um, I do try to keep it out of the sun. I do use self-tanner, but it still never fails. Um, and so definitely make sure that you are matching to your neck color and not to your face color. Otherwise, um, you'll look washed out in a case like this where you know if your face is lighter than your neck, like me. So yeah, this brush is so cool because yeah, then you can go right in around some of these other tight spots that you can't get as well with the bigger end of the brush. So very cool. I am very impressed with this powder. Um, like I said, it's a very, very light feeling. It gives very nice coverage. Um, and I think the color match is great. So, I don't know. If you have questions, let me know. I will talk to you later. Bye.